What's going on guys, so I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video, but I finally broke down and bought Larry some new tail lights and a third brake light. So I've seen y'all in the comments for years telling me to get new tail lights, but in my opinion, Larry is one of the few vehicles that actually look really good with the factory tail lights. So maybe it's just me, maybe it's just this color, I don't really know, but I've never really minded the red tail lights on Larry. I think it looks pretty daggum good. It's nice and clean, right? Whereas on the Silverado, I immediately had to get some tendon ones on it because the factory red ones looked horrible, but I've just never really minded the red tail lights on here. Once we do this, I might be like, dang, we should have done that years ago. Probably is going to be that case. But as of right now, I think they look fine. So before we unbox the lights and see what we got, you might have never noticed this on Larry, but there's actually a pretty good sized dent here and actually a gap because the alignment pins no longer align up. Hopefully with the new ones, we'll be able to make this work. Maybe we'll try to bend this, but something happened in Larry's life where this got damaged. I'm guessing this is a replacement tail light. I feel like there's no way something got in here and didn't get the tail light. So I'm sure this was replaced. This happened obviously before I got the truck. Um, but yeah, there's a dent here. It doesn't line up perfectly, so. I guess that's another reason why I've kind of never wanted to do tail lights because I didn't want to like do this. Look, there's a dent, but even though I just did that. Anyways, that's what I love about Larry. It's not flawless. It's got dents, it's got scratches. It's just a good old truck and I absolutely love it. So anyways, we'll see if we can make that any better, but let's go ahead and unbox our tail lights and our third brake lights, see what we got. And later in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about this four wheeler. All right, so when it comes to tail lights, there's a ton of different options you can go with, but since I like the OEM tail lights on it, but yeah, I wanted to change the look. I figured let's go with a OEM style smoked one. So very similar to if you wanted to go with VHD nightshades and paint them yourself. But yeah, these are gonna be perfect. They're gonna be gloss. These shouldn't fade over time like VHT does. And as well, we don't have to deal with masking off our reverse light and dealing with that if we just painted over it. So I think these are gonna be perfect. Like I said, very similar to the OEM lights but a nice smoked look, and I think they're gonna look absolutely amazing with the black wheels. Um, got these off of Amazon for like 50 bucks, super cheap. There's a bunch of different options, like I said, but I felt like this was the best for me. Now, when it comes to third brake lights, there's a lot of options, but there's also a lot of bad reviews about a lot of leaking problems and not having the correct connections and all this kind of stuff. So I definitely had to spend more money on the third brake light than the tail lights, but I got this through, I think it was americantrucks.com anzo third brake light let's go ahead and unbox it and see what it's all about so we didn't want to forget about the third brake light and have it up there looking factory with our new blacked out tail lights so we got this anzo smoked third brake light which had good reviews it's got the correct connection so it should be plug and play nice uh cab lights or bed lights whatever probably gonna make our uh window trim look extra sun faded but Either way, I think it's going to be a nice clean look for Larry. So let's go ahead and start with the tail lights, swap them out. Two 516 bolts. Should pull straight out. Sometimes they can definitely be a booger. There we go. There we go. All right. Nice and muddy from all of our off-road activities. Man, I, I thought I had LED reverse lights in here. I need to change those out. So use this time to go ahead and clean out behind your tail light because if your trucks are like mine, every single time you wash them, you always have a little bit of this dirt come running out under the tail light. You'll get the whole truck clean. You'll come back here and you'll have a little line of dirt. So let's go ahead and clean this up so that doesn't happen anymore. Let's take our new tail light. Like I said, try not to get any dirt in there. So. Line it up. There we go. Take our alignment pins, lock them into place. There we go. Oh, yeah. It's gonna look good. Go ahead and take our screws, line them back up. So here's the damage that we have behind the tail light. And it looks like we've got some, uh, I don't know, maybe someone rewired the trailer brakes. Not really sure, definitely does not look OEM. Yeah, I guess maybe I'm gonna try to bend this back. Get a pry bar in there, bend this back some so that these pins will actually line up on the new tail light. Well, the only thing I could find is this screwdriver. So... Might be 
fairly close. I don't want to bend it too much. Okay, so that's, if our screws can line up, that's actually pretty good. So yes, the dent is still there obviously, but it is much smaller and look, it is secure. The tail light is locked into place now. Should have done that forever ago, at least tried. But uh, yeah, much, much better. Stoked on that. So let's go ahead and tackle the third brake light. Don't make fun of Larry's crustiness. That's what happens when you're a vehicle born in 1997. Spend your whole life out in the sun. All right, so here's our new one. It does have this little plug. So I'm guessing we gotta pull that out and hopefully be able to do this without taking the headliner down. If if not, that's that's gonna be super annoying. But I guess let's just hope for the best. All right. All right guys, so I had to call it quits the other day. Had to go meet the fam jam. But, let me show y'all what I'm up to. You do have to drop the headliner some. You could probably bend it, but I don't want to put a big crease in or anything. Uh, Cause we are going to be redoing this headliner. Uh, but we're going to be reusing the like hard part. We'll be redoing this part. So I don't want to mess it up. Um, you take your little hook off, take your seat belt off, both sides, both that. Then you can pop this straight out, this one as well. And then that'll give this enough movement to where we can then go to the back back here. It's a good thing about these stupid wide tires that make a great step. But now we can actually get into this, pull this down and right there you can see. So I finally got it plugged in and thankfully it is working. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put the two screws back in there. We'll get Larry back outside, see how it all looks together. smoked taillights and third brake light. I love the one up top. I love, I think that cleans it up so much. I do like the taillights as well, but I think the third brake light actually made more of a dramatic difference than the taillights did. Looks so good. And talk about a perfect day for filming. Holy crap, overcast days just look so insane. Larry's paint be looking flawless. I don't know, man, do we, do we, do we go with some like I don't think we can go with black headlights. Uh, you know, we could go with that to match the taillights, but I feel like with the chrome bumper, it just looks so freaking good with chrome headlights. I see y'all talking about the dent in the bumper if I'm ever gonna replace that. Honestly, I would, but I really have a hard time finding this specific bumper. You can get the other year models or the full drive bumpers pretty easily, but this bumper itself is a little difficult to find. So I probably will replace it once we you know, lift Larry and start fixing up some things, but. Let me know if you find one shoot me instagram dm and let me know where to get it because i do want to replace it but no it doesn't really bother me but yeah dude larry's looking freaking sick honestly just would love to leave it like this it looks so freaking good with the 24s y'all saw in the last video where we put those on and now smoking out the the lights looks even better 
with the black wheels. That's gonna be about it for this video. Y'all definitely comment down below. Let me know what you think about this upgrade and what you wanna see next on Larry. I'll see y'all in the next one. Oh, <laughs>